after John passed away, I got this mandolin. It was 12. And um, Fritz was worn up. And neck was all bent. I just, it was in bad shape. So I had, I had new Fritz put in, straighten up the neck and then found out I cannot get in tune. Um, my luthier, the repair person, Bill Swank, had it for several months trying to fix it and it just won't get in tune. And I think he had it for like six months. He had it on the wall. And one day, one of his customers came in and Bill was explaining to him and the customer said, yeah, I, I know why it doesn't get in tune. And Bill said, what? You mean, you know why it doesn't get in tune? The guy said, yeah, the third fret is bigger than the first fret. John must have slotted the fret slots eyeballed and it was not right. So uh, Bill and I got together. I, I bought a new fingerboard but I didn't want to put it in because I would lose the inlay. Um, Bill and I decided to move three frets a little bit and put the little shim and move the nut back this way and it's pretty close now um, but I told the story to Ben Eldridge who used to you know stand next to John and Ben was just smiling <laughs> he said that's why I had my tuner right here and Ben knew John was out of tune all the time um, Sometimes I wonder, John used to bend the string just to put it back in tune. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me play a tune. The thing I like about this mandolin is um, it sustains. For a long time. I mean, if you play, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it doesn't matter, but tune like that, you know. It's a beautiful sustain. It's very pretty. Um, you can play like old John style chop. Or you can play like a uh, say Grisman type. But also it can I can play rock and roll with it. response very well. I uh, saw uh, some emails flying up on Mando Cafe about 
John's F12, F7, and Doug May Lens. And I hope I answered some of the questions. Um, I was trying to find out more about this mandolin after I got this, but I couldn't. Then one day I found out that I uh, interviewed John in 1985, and I found it, and I asked all the right questions. <laughs> I was surprised. Um, someday I, I hope um, you have a chance to see this mandolin in person in here because it's a wonderful, wonderful instrument and a lot of memories of John. Take care.